I hope you all didn't expect a really beautiful woman called Susanna out here and I disappointed you to see me uh, presenting it. But let me start. Um, <laughs> well, um, Sustainable Sanitation Alliance was basically in the year 2007. Um, was, it was established in the year 2007 uh, because in 2008 was, a, was the International Year of Sanitation. And so to build that momentum towards uh, this year, uh, the Susanna was the kickoff meeting took place in Eshborn uh, with one of the ma uh, leading persons, Christina Mella, who was uh, one of the real responsible persons for uh, Susanna at that time uh, at the GIZ office. And over the years, in the last five years, um, uh, many of the meetings have taken place worldwide. Uh, as you can see over here, there have been around 14 meetings which have taken place in Asia, in Africa, in Latin America, in Europe, and in America. And the latest one, the next uh, Susanna meeting, which is uh, proposed, will be in, uh, in Egypt, uh, alongside the Africa Water Week. So just in case uh, you are attending the Africa Water Week, uh, you could please note down the dates, which is the uh, uh, 18th and the 19th of uh, May, is when the 15th Susanna meeting will take place. Uh, the Susanna meeting takes place twice a year, uh, once uh, in Stockholm Water Week, uh, and the second one is somewhere around in some developing country. Now, uh, what exactly is sustainable sanitation? What are we actually talking about? Why is this for uh, this network form? So, um, towards to achieve the MDG goals, what is um, it? What, what we consider is is that sustainable sanitation is the way ahead um, to to fulfill the MDG goals and to make it more sustainable. A few important uh, criteria need to be understood. A sustainable sanitation system is one which is economically viable, which is socially acceptable, which is technically and institutionally appropriate, and protects the environment and natural resources. But you have to keep one thing in mind, that sustainability is, there's no such a system which is 100% sustainable. Um, sustainability is a vector which gives you a direction in which uh, direction you need to go to. Um, the Sustainable Sanitation Alliance has developed five criteria. That is, one is health and hygiene, which is very important, without which any sanitation system uh, does not make sense. A uh, sanitation system should be environmentally, uh, should protect the environment and natural resources, so that there shouldn't be any kind of pollution, which actually then creates another problem. Then technology and operation, finance and economics, you must be aware a lot of developing countries pro have proposed uh, high-tech solutions, but at the end, when it comes to finances, they end up just having primary treatment plans. So then it sh any system should be socially uh, and culturally acceptable and institutionally also acceptable. So sustainable sanitation is a key to make any investment in sanitation very viable. So these are the five criteria that Susanna has developed to call any sanitation uh, program or system sustainable. So what do we do? What, what is our role? What kind of role do we play in, in, in doing this? So the first one is basically Susana is a coordination platform. Uh, there are a lot of um, the Susana meetings which take place. It brings all the sanitation professionals from worldwide uh, to network, to exchange ideas, and to learn from each other's experiences. Susana is a working platform. It has 11 working groups, so uh, 11 thematic working groups which are connected to sanitation. And so any time, um, any, any, uh, these working groups basically go in depth or into that specific thematic area to understand what are the problem areas and what could be done to resolve these. Um, the third one is Susanna is a sounding board for publications. We have a lot of partner organizations who actually publish a lot of documents but they don't have a focus group to, to, how to reach them properly. So we provide a platform where the, uh, which is a platform for sanitation professionals. So all the doc, any publications can be streamlined into, uh, into reaching the right people. Then Susanna acts as a catalyst from commitment to action. Uh, there is the MDG goals, which are the commitments. 
uh, and that is an action which has to take place on the ground. But there needs to be a strong capacity to actually achieve these actions on the ground, and this is where we come into play. Uh, Susanna contributes to the policy dialogue towards sustainable sanitation. Uh, we have a lot of collection of uh, fact sheets which have been produced by the working groups, case studies and resource materials, as well as we have the discussion forum. So th these are places as well as uh, interacting at uh, different conferences, we provide a, uh, a platform for discussing uh, for our policy dialogue. Then we have around, these are the 11 working groups that I talked about before. Um, capacity development, finance and economics, renewable energies and climate change, sanitation systems, technology options and hygiene, food security, productive sanitation systems, cities and planning, community school, rural, as well as gender, uh, emergency and reconstruction situations, business sanitation as a business, public awareness, operation and maintenance, groundwater, all these um, working groups are working towards, um, they have produced fact sheets and even some of the working groups have gone a bit more further, like the Cities and Planning uh, Working Group has produced a book publication called uh, Sanitation, Sustainable Sanitation in Cities, a Framework for Action. Uh, the Food Security Working Group has pr published a book publication called Reu uh, uh, Safe Reuse of Urine in Agriculture. And today um, we, we're having a special focus on operation and maintenance, where Gunther Langa Graba will, will tell you what the working group is doing and the two presentations on what operation and maintenance will follow. So there's quite a lot of things happening in the 11 working groups. Uh, these are the working group leads from different organizations all over the world. Um, and if anybody is interested in becoming uh, or taking lead of any of the working groups, uh, please feel free to contact us. So far we have around 175 partner organizations to date and there are, the organizations vary from different areas like the, if, you can, if you see there's mostly the local and the international NGOs are almost 50% of Susanna's partners and then there are also the multilateral organization, government owned state uh, government state-owned organizations, research institutes, networks, etc. So it's a growing network. We have grown uh, quite a bit in the last five years. Uh, in January, end this year, on 29th of January, we actually completed five years of Susanna. So what are some of the outputs that uh, the Secretariat and the partners have produced so far is the fact sheet. Uh, one is the fact sheet book. Um, all these 13 fact sheets which have been generated, uh, we have now compiled them into a book publication which we plan to launch during the Africa Water Week. And uh, the draft version is already online on the website, Susanna website. Then um, we have a huge collection of case studies. We have around 63 case studies from worldwide, from Asia, Africa, Latin America, in Eastern Europe, etc. And we have it in different languages, so you can actually sort them out as per languages, you can sort them out as per settings, what kind of settings they are based on, or <coughs> even technologies, or the kind of reuse is expected out of it. Um, these fact sheets, if you, can, if you see, there are around um, 28 of them which are from Sub-Saharan Africa. And, um, and we have already also last year in June published a fact sheet a case study compilation of 27 case studies from Sub-Saharan Africa. And this can also be downloaded from the website. And yeah, we do have some copies, uh, but yeah, uh, you can always contact us and we could even send it to you. Um, next is the Susanna overview of what the Susanna website has to offer. Um, since the website uh, is online and that is from July 2008. We have around more than 150,000 visitors so far in the last four years. And approximately, at the moment, we have around 7,100 visits every month uh, to the website. As Christina said before, uh, the Secretariat of the Susanna, uh, uh, Susanna is, uh, is located at the GIZ headquarters in Eshkorn. And um, once a year, we actually um, 
produce an offline version of the website because many a times in the developing countries, people do not have good access to internet connection. And so uh, we have these DVDs, which is an offline version. So uh, if anybody uh, wants, there are some at the stall as well as at the counter there. And people can even order that through the website and we can send it to you for free. Um, so far we have around 1,100 uh, 1, members and around 2,000 subscribers to the mailing list. We also use a lot of social media, as in social media uh, refers to um, communication into interactive dialogue. Um, examples are Facebook, YouTube, Flickr, Wikipedia, Wiki, etc. And we see it as an opportunity to manage uh, knowledge more efficiently, to, to share information, to go beyond the usual sanitation crowd, because most of the sanitation crowd are already there with us through the uh, Sustainable Sanitation Alliance, uh, but to reach out a bit more further and to encourage discussions and to debates in the learning. So you can, as you can see here, this is the Sadama website, and we have already integrated most of the social media networks like Facebook, Flickr, YouTube, Twitter. Twitter we use during Susanna meetings so that we can actually interact with a lot of people who cannot participate in the meetings, can actually interact with the presenters. Um, and then um, Facebook, where we also provide information. And last year, in, uh, during the Africa, in Kigali, uh, we launched the Susanna discussion forum. Um, it's basically a platform for people to uh, for sanitation professionals as well as people working in this sector to exchange ideas, to discuss over topics, etc. And the idea was to keep it as an open source forum, so anytime you Google anything um, about, say, biogas or sanitation, or etc., it can be directly, you directly land up into the uh, Susanna discussion forum. As well as if you have any kind of queries, you can put it up on the forum and people will, uh, experts will respond to you. So, so far there are 1,135 users of this uh, discussion forum and um, more than 1,000 posts so far in the last four or five months. This is an example of how the uh, uh, discussion forum looks like where um, we have a topic on mobile toilets for urban poor in Bangladesh where experiments are being going on and she's giving updates about how what's the information, uh, uh, how people react to uh, these kinds of uh, toilets and uh, keeping us updated about the developments in general. <coughs> so how do you actually can get involved uh, with Susanna? Um, you can join as an individual member, um, Susanna. You can register your organization as a partner. We have 175 partners from worldwide, but very few from um, Northern Africa and uh, from the MENA region actually. <coughs> so organizations are welcome to contact us. Um, you could attend the Susanna meeting, side events which take place. You can join the, uh, the web, uh, register at the website and you will be updated about all this. And uh, these are times where you can exchange uh, with other organizations what your, your inputs and do in, in sanitation. How many you Yes, it's almost done. Yeah, the last one. Um, you could volunteer as a lead or co-lead for one of the working groups. And also you could be a part of the core group, which is a core group of uh, leads, working group leads, and some decision makers in the uh, network. Thank you from the Susanna team uh, at the GIZ office. And please feel free to join us. Thank you.